You are watching the SEC on ESPN. Welcome to John Crop Stadium in Lexington, Kentucky for the rubber match between the Kentucky Wildcats and the eighth ranked Georgia Bulldogs. Seems like she'll work deep into counts, a lot of foul balls. High hopper over the head of the third baseman, Larsung, and no play on the speedy Dallas Goodnight who is aboard. Sydney Chambly runner takes off it is good night sliding in without a tag we had seven stolen bases in game one between Georgia and Kentucky none in game two and 50 points higher than right-handed hitters lefties have more success off of her Chambly a flare into left field and it is caught by Riley Smith one down for Georgia and a line drive will get off the glove of the shortstop Koffel and no play at either base. Kearney is aboard with a base hit. And Kearney had Georgia. They've been on the road back to back weekends at first place Tennessee last weekend and then here in Lexington. That is a big time strikeout. Reach first on another infield single. Runners at the corners. And a 2 2 strikeout of Sarah Mosley. Scoon over with back. Drive off the glove of the shortstop Armistead and into left field. And the leadoff runner is aboard for here. And Aaron Koffel. And she gets beat. First two batters aboard now for Kentucky. A lot of offense and make the team pay for working to get to her. Up the middle and into center. Here comes Smith. And the throw will get cut off. The Wildcats strike first in game three. Just putting some things together in this first inning and sitting back on a changeup again is Taylor Ebbs. That's more up in the zone. Madison Kerpix has given up two hits in this inning, both on one of her best pitches. Her changeup seems a little bit more up in the zone. A good two strike arc. Kerpix. Line drive right into the mid of the third baseman, Mosley, and they almost doubled up Ebbs at first base, but that is a big first out with two on and nobody out. It's Larson, who has homered in this series, gets hit on the arm. Second hit batter of the inning, and the bases are loaded for Kentucky here in the bottom of the first. First inning of that game. And Hutchins delivers a line drive to right, caught by Kearney. Here comes Koffel from third, and it's 2-0 Wildcats in the bottom of the first. You know, the freshmen on this Kentucky team, have their hand that they were dealt this year is one of the toughest schedules you can have. And a 3-1 walk drawn by Carissa Hamilton. Inning continues. They have scored two runs so far. The one-two is a flare right back to Walters, and she comes in, and in five pitches, closes the door on the Wildcats, who strand the bases low. Promo God. four times. I, I say, haven't gotten your, to see it. Who's Amanda Scarborough's plug on getting the private releases? <laughs> That's a ground ball up the middle, and Sarah Gordon in her first start of the series. The theater last night, Tuscaloosa. Tuscaloosa is the place to be this weekend. Here is Sid Kuma, and she gets beamed upstairs. So the first two batters aboard for Georgia in the second inning. Inning and was unable to score. Back-to-back -back strikeouts by Schoonover, and she'll get strikeout number three here. One away in the second. I mean, look at Schoonover just bare. And here you are today, 75. Armistead a flare into left. Back on it is Smith, and she will make the catch. Both runners will stay put for Georgia two away. And slam on Saturday. Takes the 2-1 to deep left field. Back on it is Smith, and she makes the catch. A step in front of the wall, and again, Stephanie Schoonover. Shelby Walters in the circle as we get Amanda Scarborough's microphone back working. A fly ball to center field is caught by Dallas Goodnight. And if you're just joining us, it was Madison Kerpix to start the game for Georgia. She was knocked out in the first. Shelby. Five teams, two more top ten teams into the SEC. 
Smith, a laser in the right field and down for a base hit. She's thinking two and dives in with a double. Riley Smith aboard for the second consecutive at bat of the day. Patience at the plate and her ability to just own the strike zone. High pop up, edge of the infield. It's Sid Kuma for out number two. And launches this deep to right field. Back on it, Kearney, and it's gone. Taylor Ebb's second home run of the series, and it's 4 nothing Cats in the second. If you want to win games in the SEC, you have to be a team that makes in-at-bat adjustments. We showed you, or you saw it happen in earlier in her at-bat. Shelby Walters was trying to own that inside corner, and then Ebbs makes an adjustment with two strikes, a one-two, two-run home. It seems like their bat just really started to break open last weekend against A&M, especially with the power. And Kentucky is a team that is hit for decent power throughout this season. But look at last weekend and this weekend, they just got in their experience at any moment that that can change and things can click for them. Chambly, a liner in the center. Sullivan puts it away, one down. A home run hitter. Laser off the glove of Lorsing at third. And it will be an error on Grace Lorsing to this point. Line drive into right and down in front of Riley Smith. And back to back runners aboard now for the Bulldogs with one down. 65th pitch of the day for Schoonover. Misses upstairs. And the base is loaded now with the tying run at the plate in the form of Sarah Gordon. It's a great at bat by Sarah Mo. Both games coming into the day, highly competitive in this series. And a strikeout for Schoonover. Oh, on Kuma. 2-2. Two -two. Schoonover gets a strikeout anyway. Back to back to end the inning. All five of her strikeouts with Georgia runners in scoring position. And then Kilfoyle, known for that drop ball. Pickens has a phenomenal changeup, and she'll hum it in there at 74. One down in the third on a ground out to Sid Kuma. And she is hit. And Hutchins will head to first. That is the third hit batter of the day by this Georgia pitching staff. Fulton. Lined down the line in right field, giving chase is Kearney, and she'll get there, making the snow cone catch in foul territory. Translating to SEC play, it's something that they've been able to rely on. And another pop-up will get Walters out of the inning. So she pitches around a one-out hit batter. To regional every weekend or to try to win two of three games every weekend. Pop-up right side of the infield. It's Reesner putting it away, one down. Every single pitch and fight for you. She wants the ball every game. She wants to pitch more. Flair to second and it's Reasoner for back-to-back -back outs for the Wildcats. High-level games, both in the non-con and in the conference, and their ace is dealing six strikeouts and Kentucky in the driver's seat. Looking on number seven here, trying to bolster that NCAA at-large resume, which is already super strong given their strength of schedule. Borzileri a shot to left field. Back on it is Goodwin. See you later. A home run for Lauren Borzilleri. Five zip cats. Kentucky has just been swinging the bat so big. I know that Rachel Lawson said that we are a home run hitting team, and they had been, but before that AM series, they just hadn't been hitting as many home runs in bunches the way that they hit in the series in College Station and then those big dreams. 3 1, down the line and left, and off the base of the wall. Smith will scamper into third 
On a double by Aaron Koffel. And the hits just keep on coming for the... And Lily Backus. For 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss, strike three in the first out of the inning, a strikeout of Taylor Ebbs. One soon. The pitching coach for Georgia for helping Lily Backus make small mechanical adjustments on a hot play at third by Sarah Mosley, two away. Fly ball, center field. Drifting underneath is good night. And Backus shuts the door with two on and nobody out. They put their cleats on just like us. 2-2 two -two to Sidney Chambly. Swing and a miss. Seven strikeouts for Stephanie Schoonover. Are the Bulldogs down five zip here in the top of the fifth as Kearney scorches it to Borzaleri two away. Well, and I think that what's going to happen, Matt, is that it's just going to make regional. 2-2 two -two to Jaden Goodwin. Rings her up on the inside corner. 1-2-3 inning for Stephanie Schoonover. Eight strikeouts. Line drive up the middle and a leadoff base hit for Allie Hutchins. After the hit by pitch was wiped away, she... Pop-up caught on a diving play by Sarah Gordon. One down. Popping out of her stance behind home plate. In this game. Aaron Thulin gets hit on the first pitch by Lily Backus. And now two aboard and one down. Wins. 0-2 to second base. Kuma bobbles it. And the throw to second is in time as Armistead was covering. And Thulin had to sort of squirt out of the way of Kuma, who was in the path to play. The payoff from Bacchus. In the center field and down. One run is in on the RBI single from Riley Smith, who is now four for four on the afternoon. There are just not many days as a college softball player that you're going to get a chance to go four for four. Her eighth hit of this series, Riley Smith, has just absolutely been on fire, hitting in that leadoff spot for Kentucky as they have searched for an answer there. And I think Pop up, playable, in foul territory. It's Digby gloving to get out of the inning. So, Georgia still with a chance. Leverage spots this afternoon. It's why her team leads it by six. Mosley crushed to center, and it's off the wall. But quickly turned back in by Jenna Blanton. Tree, not just this year, but over the last four years. Little flare shot right side, and it drops for a base hit for Sarah Gordon. So back-to-back -back runners aboard from Brooklyn. Sid Kuma at the plate for Georgia, and she gets hit. And now the bases are loaded for Emily Digby with nobody out. Lindy Ray Davis flares the 3-2 into left and caught on the run in foul territory by Smith as Mosley tags up from third, and Georgia finally on the board here in the sixth. Villa. Kuma at first. And the 0-2 rings up fields on the inside corner. Nine strikeouts for Stephanie Schoonover. 1-0 ah. to Dallas. Good night. Into the mid of Vanessa Nesby, and that ends the inning. Bases loaded, nobody out. Georgia manages just one. 3-0 to Vanessa Nesby. And she draws a leadoff walk in her first at bat of the game. That was the first series win in the SEC of the season for the Wildcats. Hopper to first. Digby goes to second and a stretch by Ellie Armistead to get the lead runner, Nesby. That is position and the nuances of playing up the first base line. 1-2, a pop-up left side. Armistead shielding the sun and makes the play two away. Schedule has produced some stress at times. 
But Amanda, they seem to be figuring it out here as that gets under Ellie Armistead. It's short. And the inning continues. Could have more runs on the board, and so could Georgia. A lot of opportunities. Back to Armistead and a flip to third at Mosley. Two left for Kentucky. Georgia down to their final opportunity. Kind of film. They try to give hitters a different look the second time through. Chambly in the left field, tracking it as Smith, and she gets there, crashing into the wall in foul territory. One down in the seventh. Here is Jada Kearney. High fly ball left field. That is a no doubter over the scoreboard for Jada Kearney. Don't count the Bulldogs out just yet. Good to see her get going and get her swing off here. Clearly looking for that inside corner, gets it out in front and stays behind it. I mean, that was an absolute bomb over the scoreboard. Wow, that's a lot of power for Jim. Four nothing after the first two innings. Kentucky plating two in each of the first two. And the two two is flown out to left. Smith on the track, shielding the sun, two away. He's from Georgia. The two two. And Mosley continues the inning for the Bulldogs. 130 from their first series win against Georgia since 2012. The payoff. Up the middle and into center field. And the inning continues on a two-out single by Sarah Gordon. Pitches, which Chris says they don't actually have the ability to do. High hopper, middle of the infield, backhanded by Tobias. No play at any bag. And the bases are loaded for Georgia in the seventh. And he's at bats now. Second half of SEC play. 0-1, high pop up, shallow center field, and Blanton puts it away. Kentucky wins their first series against Georgia since 2012. A great team win for Kentucky this weekend. Came out on Friday, got the dub. In the last six starts. Next, it's Texas A&M and Alabama right here on ESPN2. For Amanda Scarborough, I'm Matt Schumacher saying so long from Lexington as we send you to Beth Mowens and Michelle Smith.